Alright, this time I'm just going to use um, this copper disc and I'll I'll have it spinning over the top of this speaker magnet here and you'll see you'll see the rotation is from the disc the EMF generated it doesn't spin this it spins this instead it spins the main rotor so that's just a normal speaker magnet so when I put the disc over the EMF generated spins it around spins the main rotor around but the uh, magnet itself does nothing the only movement you see in this magnet is because it sort of starts and stops when you start and stop it it spins around a little bit like that so anyway I'll replace that with the um, NEOs magnetized across this way and um, you'll see that the copper disc there you are, I'll put it over here the copper disc will actually spin these magnets around but not as much energy is impart <coughs> imparted to the main rotor in fact if I get them in the right spot see I can spin these around without much you see even still there's still energy still energy imparted to the main rotor but these magnets do spin around as the EMF generated a very little effect on the rotor in fact it's mainly because this is just sitting on here um, freely, it's, it's wobbling around a bit. But um, with the normal speaker magnet, all of the energy, all of the EMF, goes into rotation of the main rotor. This magnet does nothing. Oops. So the only way the coil can push a magnet away is if they're arranged like this. It definitely can't, no, no magnetic pulse or anything on this magnet is going to make it spin around. It doesn't matter if it's revolving around there or not. But this one, if you pulse the end of it, it'll spin around. Or if EMF's generated above it, it'll spin and not as much energy <clears throat> from the EMF will go into the main rotor.